the driver can't come out all no. The car must be drive to man man drive to terrible for the road. Oh my god, like where am I come from? People, 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 people. Que pasa, sa, pa, say what they do. Now this video is called It Seems Like Jamaican Drivers. It seems like Jamaican people upon a whole and I am just speaking in general. Have a stubbornness, them have a mule syndrome. Because it seems like they don't learn from the past. It seems like the past is not used as an indication of what might happen in the future. And I am speaking about these drivers on the road. And I am speaking about a very disturbing mentality when it comes to Jamaicans and the indiscipline on the road. And people, this was displayed again in a St. James in a Montego Bay when there was a C-R-A-S-H and 20 people got I-N-J-U-R-E-D, including four Pitney, and then also two people end up pass away, D-E-A-D. -E so now people, like I say, I have the videos, I have all four videos, and people, because of YouTube's policy, I cannot put it up on my video. And you know that most of these bloggers, they are informants. Therefore, if I put up anything that vaguely violates YouTube's policy, they are going to point it out. Say, look, YouTube, look there. At 1 minute and 45 seconds, Rete and Lele in display this. So anyway, people, like me say, if you want the video, just link me on WhatsApp. You know the number. It is no secret. So take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my peace. Now people, when I look at that video, and like I say, I have four of them. When I look at that video, what I saw is that speeding played a major role. I saw that the lack of ability to control your car upon the road, however, the hype and the adrenaline rush, however, the always being late mentality, However, the adrenaline that is flowing through these drivers' head in a Jamaica and we see exactly what happened. Because just based on the video, it is obvious that somebody was flying like a mad bat out of hell and lost control and end up on the next side across the median and Rete and Lele. So we are talk about a head on, you know what we are talk about. Now people, when we look on this and I see the people that were involved, we are talking about a taxi man and we are speaking about a minibus driver or at least a seven-seater passenger vehicle. Now people, I have to ask this question once again, one more again. What are some of these people who claim that they are passenger drivers, drivers for passenger vehicles? What are they doing with a license? What are they doing with a permit to conduct business to carry passenger when we know that they are crazy people? People, something is wrong with the system. People, something is wrong with the trafficking system in Jamaica. Something is fundamentally wrong because lately I saw in the news where they held a taxi driver and a minibus man with in excess of 1,100 traffic tickets. So people, more than likely, I am sure, if the popo should do their job and check these drivers that were involved, you are going to notice that they have multiple tickets, point blank and period. And people, I am just speaking in general. I don't know the specifics of these people that were involved in the C-R-A-S-H. And I don't want to sound insensitive because of the fact that one or two of them might have lost their L-I-F-E. But I am just saying, people, we have to learn from our mistakes. We have to learn from the mistakes of others. We cannot just keep doing the same thing over and over. 
And like the saying goes, the definition of insanity is get up every day and do the same thing over and over and expect a different or separate result. So now people, when I look at the video I saw or I heard, pick me a ball out. Me hear mothers, me hear fathers, me hear grandmother, me hear everybody, me hear the passers by. So my point is this. Everybody, the dog, the puss, the cat, the rat, mama, papa, granny, grandpa, everybody a ball yesterday. But tomorrow, it is going to be the same, all same. So therefore, if you can't learn, you are going to feel. But people, the bad thing is that it is the passengers, it is a little pit of them who end up in the place for treatment. So people, like me say, it is just my views and opinion, it is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Now people, before I move to the next part of my news, please subscribe to my new dancehall channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. J-A-M-A-I-C-A D-A-N-C-E-H-A-L-L-S-O-U-R-C-E -E. Thank you very much. So the next thing that is popping in the news is that there was a little Manning Cup match. And for my subscribers that are living overseas and not familiar with the Jamaica school system or schoolboy system, it is a competition between high school boys in a, the corporate era. We are talking about Kingston, we are talking about St. Andrew. We are not speaking about the rural schools. That is called the Costa Cup. So anyways, there was a match being played between two schools we are speaking about, Jamaica College, which is my old school, and also Walmart's boys. And people, the truth and the fact is that I am hearing conflicting stories. I don't know if it was raining badly, and I don't know if lightning and thunder was flashing and rete and lele. So anyways, just based on the video that I saw, based on the sample of the video that I saw, I saw the lightning kind of flash. And people, you know, say lightning, rain and green grass, it is a very bad combination. And people, after it flashed, two of the pit of them, I think the GSCU them, fell to the ground. So people, like me say, I don't think that they were hit directly. However, you know say so lightning is a very powerful thing and it can damage some people, point blank and period. So anyways, it was a good thing that they had the paramedics on the scene and those two kids were taken to the place for treatment. And people up to today, I don't have any update. I hope that they are okay. So we have to just keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best and just hope that it is not the worst case scenario. So anyways, people are saying this, people are saying that, people are saying ass dead and cow fat, people are saying rete and lele, they are claiming, they are alleging, they are blaming the referee because they are saying or they are claiming that the referee should have stopped the match when him realized the rain and fall and lightning and thunder and rete and lele. But people like me say... This is Jamaica and it seems like they have a different standard from the first world countries. May I talk about England, may I talk about America, may I talk about Canada and them place there. So people are starting to blame the referee. However, that referee is being defended by the coach of Jamaica College, which is the school in which two of the kids that were affected came from. So people, I don't know the specifics, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think that they need to change the rules and regulation and say, once the rain start, they need to ease up half of the game so anyways people let me know what you think in the comment section and especially anybody that was at that match let me know what you think in the comment section do you blame the referee or do you think that it was a surprise lightning strike people make me know on the think in the comment section but like me say it is just my views and opinion it is not the gospel your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine but let me know what you think in the comment section